How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to child proof your iPad. Show you a couple of things that will um, one help you restrict the content that your, your children are able to look at on your iPad and will also protect you from them accidentally erasing your apps and uh, email accounts and all kind of stuff. Uh, what you want to do is go to settings okay and from settings you want to be in general okay and then you want to come down to restrictions okay now restrictions are normally turned off when you get the iPad you will want to turn them on and then the first thing you want to do is enable restrictions and it will ask you to set a passcode um, so you can make it whatever you want I'm going to make mine 0000 and then you have to put it in twice and now here's what it's going to allow you to do the first step in restrictions is you can set what apps it allows and what apps it will not allow to even be on the iPad for example you can actually turn off Safari and when you do that it will take Safari yo, it will take the Safari app off the iPad so they can't even use it let me show you an example of this so if I go in the search and type in Safari it is not there okay now watch this if I back to restrictions if I turn it on and then I go back to search and type in Safari see that it's in the it's in the the option when you set under restrictions when you turn off Safari it removes the app from the iPad or out of plain view so that you cannot be accessed I don't even know where my normal Safari is normally kept Oh, duh, right here. So, again, this app will be gone. So now you see it. And restrictions. And turn it off. And it's gone. Okay? So, if you don't want your kids searching on the internet, you can simply um, go to that section and you can uh, set it as a restriction so that they there is no accident of their um, actually getting onto the internet and looking at something they're not supposed to see. Same thing with YouTube. You can actually turn off YouTube so that it won't even be on the iPad or accessible for them to look at. Okay? You can also do the camera if you're concerned about them FaceTime with people and you don't want them doing that Bam set FaceTime as a restriction um, You can also set iTunes if you don't want them listening to certain music or buying certain music You can just go ahead and just take it off the iPad so you don't have to worry about them accidentally pull up a song they shouldn't be listening to um, and Here's one of the biggest ones I hear all the time deleting apps um, a lot of times your kids, you know, you give your phone or iPad to a two-year-old and they're pressing down on stuff and they don't know what they're doing and all of a sudden you're wondering where your, all your apps went, okay? So you can actually set it so that they can't delete apps and they can't install apps, okay? So it will make it a lot easier. You can also, um, well, this isn't that too important. This is for the dictation. They can't like say bad words and have it type it. But not too big of a deal right there. The next thing is, um, so under allow changes, you can actually go to accounts. And you can set it so that they won't be able to mess with your email accounts. Okay. For example, uh, if you look under mail right now, everything is not highlighted. But if I go to general and restrictions, and if I check the box for don't allow changes, when I go to mail, all these are now unhighlighted, which means they cannot go and erase your email accounts. Now, let me tell you what this does not do, and this is what I thought it did originally. Um, if they go to your mail application, they still can't erase emails. So I felt like they probably should have added a little bit more child proofing in that case. So they can't erase the whole email account, but they can erase emails. So be you know be aware of that. Hopefully you don't get any emails erased by accident from your kids. Okay. And also, that uh, counts for contacts and your calendar and all that good stuff. Okay. Um, next thing, you can set the kind of content that your kids are allowed to look at. For example, I think this is probably one of the most beneficial ones. For music and podcasts, you can actually set it so they cannot listen to any music music videos or podcasts that are labeled as explicit okay so for example if you have explicit music on your phone or your ipad you know what i'm listening to it if this is checked then um 
you can protect them from listening to stuff that they probably shouldn't be listening to. Um, and then same thing for movies. If you have X-rated movies on your uh, iPad or TV shows or any apps that are you know rated explicit, again you can set it. What rating do you want allow you want to allow them to be able to watch? So you can make it so they can only look at like G-rated stuff, for example. TV shows, the same thing. Um, apps, you can set it by the age. Don't allow them to look at any apps that are you know 17 and up, mature or 12 and up. Um, and this is another big one that um, you really want to watch out for this one. If you've just purchased an app, the way it works is normally if if you have well, for one, you always have to have a password when you when you download an app. But you can actually set it so when you download an app, you won't have to put your password in for 15 minutes. That means anything you buy in that 15 minutes, you won't need your code. If you just downloaded an app or bought a song and then you gave your, your iPad or, or whatever to your kid, they can go in the app store and they can start downloading stuff without your password. And this can be expensive. So I always have this set for 15 minutes. Or, excuse me, you want to set it for immediately. So, as soon as you download something, the next time they try to download, even if it's a minute or 30 seconds later, they will have to have your code to be able to download it. And that's something that um, you definitely want to make sure that's checked because I'm not sure if you know there was a story in the news about a kid that had racked up over thousands of dollars in app purchases because they gave him the iPad and I don't know if he knew the code or I don't know what happened, but... Um, they try to get out paying the bill, and you know what? <laughs> Apple ain't playing that. So, anyway, and the last part of it is uh, you can set it so multiplayer games. Uh, you can kind of restrict the type of games they play, or if they can add friends and whatnot. So, this is the the best way or best thing you have right now to childproof your iPad. One, if you're going to give them an iPad, I definitely recommend you go through these settings and make sure. You have decided what you want and don't want them to be able to look at. And also, if they're using your iPad, it takes two seconds to go to general and go to restrictions and just turn on the restrictions. So then you don't have to worry about them erasing your apps. Let me show you an example of this. If I hold down this app right here, I cannot erase it. Do you notice that little red dot isn't in the corner? You cannot erase apps when this is enabled. See that? And this is actually a really, really good thing for a lot of people because um, it happens. Okay? Trust me, kids can figure out some stuff without knowing it. And when you get it back, you're going to be a little pissed off. So, this is how you childproof your iPad and just protect yourself. Now, if you notice, my YouTube um, button here is gone, my Safari is gone. Because I have those set so those aren't going to be on my iPad when they're using it. Now, if you want to turn off the restrictions, it's super simple. You're going to go to Settings, General. You're going to come down to Restrictions and put the code in. And you're going to hit Disable Restrictions. And then put your code in and you're done. And now watch this. Everything is back. My Safari is back. My FaceTime is back. My camera is back. Okay? Real simple. So, I uh, also have my YouTube button and my App Store. All that stuff is back that was that went away because of the restrictions. So, make sure you child proof your iPad um, and protect yourself because it's so easy to lose stuff and, and you know, make you feel real bad for giving your iPad to your kid. Alright, hope that was helpful. Uh, do me a favor. If you found this helpful, can you like the video? Also, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching. Have a good one.